Hi everyone, welcome to ProMind Tip of the Week. This week, I would like to introduce you to some mesh manipulation commands. The three useful mesh commands that I will be covering today will allow you to modify and adjust your mesh surfaces according to your needs. In this drawing, I have some stock pile points as well as a pad contour. I'm going to use the triangulate command in ProMind surface module. Here in this dialog, I define the objects that I wish to use to create my mesh width, as well as the location where I wish to place my mesh surface. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to select a polyline limit. You'll see that my stockpile mesh has been created. Now I'm going to use the mesh commands to further adjust the model that I have created. The first command I'm going to be using is the mesh split. The command allows you to add more definition to an area. I'm going to select the face that I wish to split. Click enter. Next, I'm going to select the starting point of my split as well as the ending point of my split. Now I'm going to repeat this command and split another face. Next command I'll be using is the mesh merge command. This command allows me to merge adjacent meshes together. In addition, lastly, I'm going to use the mesh spin command. to rotate the adjoining edges of two mesh faces, for example, here. Now I'm going to go into the Mesh tab, select Face, and use Curly. Select the mesh face that I want to pull, and as I wish to pull it more towards the left. And as well as heighten the edge a little bit. You see that because of the mesh editing tools that I use, I was able to make modifications of the mesh surface that I have according to what I want to achieve to better model the reality. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the ProMind Tip of the Week. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below.